Welcome to the final part of the tutorial of Voice Crafter. The last part is how to implement the meta sounds. I already generated the audio for all the greetings. Ah, a friendly face in these dark times. Salutations, traveler. Well met, comrade. Hail. And so now we're going to use this. Right now we have all the individual sound waves and we have the input index, which is default to zero. So it always plays the first one. A friendly face in these dark times. So what we're going to open the level blueprint just to test it. Obviously you can use whatever blueprint is more convenient for you. And you drag and drop the meta sound file into the blueprint itself. It will create an audio component, which then you can play. Ah, a friendly face in these dark times. Right now it's playing, but it's always playing the first line of text, the default one. So what we're going to do is set integer parameter. The input name is going to be index. Right now with zero, it's still going to play the same sound. Ah, a friendly face in these dark times. But once we move it to one. Salutations, traveler. May your path be clear. We try number two. Well met, comrade. What news do you bring? This way you're going to have a more granular way to control which line of dialogue plays when. But keep in mind this only works when you're using the user-defined selection. When you're using random, you don't need to do that. It will automatically toggle randomly between different lines of dialogue, always trying not to repeat the last one or two. That's all. I hope you have a lot of fun and create a lot of awesome projects with VoiceCrafter. Thank you for watching.